Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are required to solve the following simultaneous equation by elimination method. Step 1 is to check and think, is there any variable that has, that is the same? I have x and I have 2x. Mm. Oh, I have y. But notice, 1 is positive y, 1 is negative y. Okay? So in this case, right, we need to think. How can we eliminate y? Do I plus the y or do I minus? We can only eliminate equations. In this case, equation 1. And equation 2, we can only eliminate variables by either we add or we minus. Okay, subtract, add or subtract, or plus or minus. So in this case here, let's see. I would have negative y and positive y. What do you think we should do? Well, if I have a positive and a negative y, I hope you know that we add them out. Okay? Because positive y plus a negative y is the same as subtraction. And this one will give me zero. Okay, this is something we learned previously. When we add a negative number, it is the same as subtraction. Okay, so here you will then notice what Mr. Tan is planning to do. Mr. Tan is going to add the equations together in order to eliminate y because y plus negative y will be equals to zero. Okay? Or negative y plus y still give me zero. So now I will have my 2x plus x. Negative y plus y will be equal to zero. The other side of the equation, I will have my 5 plus 4. So from here, we can continue to simplify already. 2x plus x will be equals to 3x. 5 plus 4 will be equals to 9. And eventually, x will be equals to 9 divided by 3. x equals to 3. After which, now that we have found what is my x, we are going to do the last step. We could involve us substituting my x equals to 3 into any of the equation. I'm going to substitute into 2 because uh, the numbers are smaller and all are positive. So equation 2 is actually x plus y equals to 4. And I'm not going to write x anymore because I know my x is 3. So instead of writing x, I'm going to write as 3. And from here, I can find my y easily. I just need to minus away the 3. y equals to 1. Last but not least, do do a quick check by substituting the value of x and y into 1. Okay, since we already substitute x into 2, we are going to now substitute into equation 1. 2x x is 3 
minus away my y. Does this give me value of 5? Yes, it does. And therefore, our answer is confirmed correct already. All right. With that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.